I think this video today will be a pretty short one. Let's see. I bought the DJI mic and would like to tell you why. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. This year is the Rotelink Filmmaker Kit. It's been my Lavalier microphone solution for the last few years. It still works and I will keep it as a backup in my camera bag just in case. But for the majority of my work, I'll use the DJI mic instead from now on. Here's why. The complete box with two transmitter recorder mics, the receiver and two adapters is about the same size as either the transmitter or the receiver of the Rotelink kit. The adapters can be used to connect the receiver directly with the smartphone. In my case, that's an iOS device. But that also works for Android users. The second adapter is USB-C. So when I'm filming with my iPhone, which does happen from time to time, and I want good sound, this is a fantastic solution. But most of the time, I'll use it on my camera. With it, I can now easily record conversations between two people. That was always a bit difficult with the Rotelink. I only had one of these systems and was not able to send two microphone signals at the same time to this one receiver. So I always had to rent a second unit or find another solution. I usually had an external recorder, this Zoom H5 here, and on that I recorded the clean audio tracks and later synchronized everything in post. That's extra work, of course. And to be honest, that was a bit annoying. Monologues, no problem. But once a second person got involved, that wasn't really an easy way to ensure proper audio recordings. Now I only have one receiver that I plug into my camera and it receives both microphone signals. That makes my life much easier. These are also much lighter than the Rotelink transmitter. We are talking about a difference of 160 grams. The DJI mic comes in at 30 grams and the Rode transmitter at 190. A little more comfortable for the people in front of my camera. And yes, I have been in situations where it wasn't that easy to attach this transmitter to people's clothing. I'm talking about swimwear, uh, tight skirts, stuff like that. Filmmakers love backups and with this I have an audio solution built in. You never know. Both transmitters can record up to 15 hours of 48 kHz 24-bit audio internally. That also makes them excellent standalone devices for podcast recordings, for example. Another plus is battery life. The DJI mic is better than the Rotelink in this regard. And I no longer have to change batteries before every interview I shoot. And when I run out of battery on one of these guys, I just have to put the devices back in the box to charge them. Very convenient. And in case I need to record sound outside, this comes with two furry little bad cats in the box. To round things up, I read that you can also use it as an audio interface. I'm not sure if I ever use it that way, but still good to know. Just in case you haven't noticed, it's hanging here. So if you're wondering how this mic sounds, you've just been listening to it for the last couple of minutes. Okay, now you know why I replaced my Rotelink Filmmaker Kit with the DJI mic. If you have any more questions about this, ask them in the comments. And that, my friends, is it for this week. I really hope you liked it. And if so, Thanks. I see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for